Luke's Lobster is a fast casual, super high quality restaurant group. We are truly a trap to table concept. This is a nice male hard shell. We bring the harvest from the fishermen and then directly to our restaurants in Manhattan, Philly, DC, Chicago, and soon to be Boston. My name is Luke Holden. I'm 31 years old and I'm president and founder of Luke's Lobster. Before Luke's Lobster, I had a small stint in investment banking and I spent three years on Wall Street. One day I was sitting at my desk and I was jonesing for a lobster roll in Manhattan and basically determined that nobody was doing it the way I was accustomed to growing up in Maine. So that's what prompted me to open Luke's Lobster. I grew up in a small town on the coast of Maine. My father was a fisherman turned dealer turned processor. At a very young age, I was exposed to both the harvesting side of the business, the production processing side, and then sales. The transition from investment banking to Maine lobstering was very much about reconnecting with the Maine industry. This is a salty old lobster that's just about ready to shed. My father and I co-invested in Loose Lobster. We each put $15,000 to fund it and I had that from investment banking bonuses and savings, and we started the first Loose Lobster. The first day we sold 500 sandwiches and had a line out the door the entire day. I remember my partner Ben calling just hours before we were scheduled to open and say, Luke, we don't have any trash cans. And I said, how much are they? And he goes, well, I think they're like 75 bucks a piece. I said, no, no, there's not enough money to go spend 75 bucks on trash cans. So let's figure that out. There was all sorts of those types of decisions that we made in the beginning that cut 500 bucks out here or 50 bucks here so that we figured out exactly what we needed to do to get open and make sure that we didn't sacrifice the quality of the products. From a financial standpoint, Luke's has been phenomenally successful. This year, 2015, sales will top $20 million. And for the first five months of the year through May, same store sales are up over 14%. We've been very, very fortunate. Our goals are centered around continuing to source better and increase quality. And so long as we can kind of continue to adhere and define and share those core brand values, we'll continue to grow.